Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a landlord tenant court case where a more soft hard apparently owes a lot of back rent and he decides to play the game F around and find out. And so he ends up getting the bad end of the deal. But hey, he's the one that screwed around. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yes, is that a Mr. Stallworth? Hello. I am I'm representing. Ah, yes. Once again, the BS of separating the living from the corporate. I mean, dude, that doesn't actually work in a court, so you might as well just go ahead and give it up because it sure as hell doesn't work for you here anyway, dude. I mean, you should watch these YouTube videos of all these sovereign citizens and more fails in court. It might actually benefit you. So Mr. Stallworth isn't present this afternoon? Is that what I'm hearing? That you're not Mr. Stallworth? I am You're going to have to find another. Can you try going to a different location? Because um, that's like you're breaking up too much, so it's very hard to hear. Or why don't you see if you can find a different location that might be better? For us to be able to hear you. Okay. Just, I guess I'll wait. Just, Ms. Yes, Ms. David. Um, going back to position number four, um, what I see is there was a repo proposed order on here. And it was a consent order and judgment. And then um, there was a motion for a reconsideration. Was um, that consent order and judgment ever filed, officially filed with the clerk? It shows that, yeah, on the 7th of, yes, Judge, the 7th of February. Okay. And you said, Mr. Um, Williams, you weren't unable to see it on your right, on your side? Yes, I've been having trouble pulling it up. The system seems to not be responding at this time. All right. Um, Ms. If you can share your email with Ms. Davis, then she can, we can get you a copy so you can take a look at it. Then we can kind of figure out what to do from there. Okay, I'll send it to your chat. Second. Thank you. All right. And then Dallas Williams, do you need a copy of that consent order as well? No, I'm pretty sure. Well, the court more moves on to other cases while the defendant in this particular scenario tries to fix his issues and they eventually return to him when he does. So let's carry on from that point, shall we? Can you hear me, Judge? Judge Andrews? That is much better. I can hear you. Perfect. Mr. Hodges. There's Mr. Hodges. All right. That is much better. All right. So are you Anthony Stallworth in position seven? Uh, I am eight Messiah Bay, the authorized representative on behalf of the defendant, Anthony Stallworth. All right. So are you telling me Mr. Stallworth is not present here today? I am. I'm, I, I'm telling you I'm standing in as the authorized representative for him uh, by special appearance. Oh, doesn't it make you feel all warm and fuzzy that he made a special appearance just for you? Judge that he took time out of his day to come to court and represent the living person or whatever in this particular matter. Yeah, Judge, you should feel honored that this peon uh, graced you with his presence in your courtroom. All right. Well, if Mr. Stallworth is not present here today because he does need to be present, um, to answer this calendar, then we'll have to move forward as if he is not here. 
because Mr. Starwood has to be present to be able to have any meaningful conversations with the attorney. To have any meaningful conversations with who? With the attorney, Mr. Starworth is the only individual who can enter into any sort of agreement um, or negotiations with Mr. Hodges. I see. Uh, now, the uh, communications that were between the defendant and the uh, the attorney through uh, through mail and court of record is that not is that not in the record? Today at this hearing today, Mr. Stallworth needs to be present um, to have a conversation with the attorney. If Mr. Stallworth isn't present, then we'll proceed without him. Okay, uh, Smooth Brain, let me translate what the judge just said so you can understand it. And I'll speak uh, fairly slow to you so you can comprehend what I'm saying. Go contact your living self and ask them to get up out of bed, get their ass over here on the couch, and talk to the lawyer so you can get things done. Because your corporate self here is not going to represent you in a case because your corporate self is not exactly an attorney so they have to move on without the living self making that appearance so go wake his ass up oh uh, well like i said uh before uh my honor i'm not here to uh argue the facts of the case i'm just here uh i'm, I'm the holder in due course i'm representing the defendant as the third, as the authorized uh, party to represent him during this matter. I hear you, but Mr. S I can't. Mr. Hodges cannot speak with anyone, but Mr. Stallward. Well, um, would it be better to push for the hearing so that I may speak with the I judge? I can't have any conver I can't set any hearings with anyone but Mr. Stallward. Mr. Stallward mm -hmm. is not here. Then we proceed as if he is not here. And how does how do you proceed if if he is not here? I'm going to go ahead and make a motion to strike the answer, Your Honor. All right, appearing Mr. Stallworth is not present. It being 2:07 p.m., Mr. Hodges. Motion uh, to, to strike that. the answer. Oh, you object to that? Are you going to change your mind about playing these games with the judge, or are you going to just uh, play these games until, well, you end up screwing yourself over? I'm going to wager the latter at this point, but let's wait and see. Written stanter. And judgment. Or Your Honor, I, I object. Um, That's you can object record. unless you are Mr. Stallworth. I cannot have a conversation with you about this case, sir. Oh, Mr. Stallworth is the only person who has standing to discuss the case with the court. And that's going to be a uh, judgment for, gosh, that's a lot. Thirteen thousand five hundred fifty-eight dollars and six cents. All right, it being two o eight is Mr. Stallworth. I'm sounding at this time for Mr. Anthony Stallworth. Mr. Stallworth. All right, there's no response from Mr. Stallworth. Did you have him to repeat that number again? Therefore, your motion to strike is granted a ritual issue in Stanter, and a money judgment in the amount of $13,558.06. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what happens when you fall down that uh, more soft uh rabbit hole right there because he now owes more than $13,000 in back rent, which I suspect he may not be able to pay back because if he's going down this Moorish road, he probably doesn't have any money at all. But you know what? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, and well, you played the Moorish game, and 
Well, look what it cost you. It cost you a hell of a lot. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.